I'm Alex. I'm here over in Holland to follow a seminar with Tristan, a floor work seminar. I knew it was it's going to be like challenging. It was, but now I have a lot of stuff to learn and be a better mover. Thank you, Tristan. I uh, really enjoyed the workshop. I uh, viewed a different kind of movement practice that I'm used to, so that's a really nice thing. Um, uh, it opened my eyes a little bit in uh, the movement kind of part, so I'm really happy with that. Um, Tristan did a really good job in explaining the different parts um, and the people were very nice, so really glad I visited the seminar today. Uh, what I liked about the workshop today was um, the focus on the gap between exercises. That was for me really an eye-opener um, because that will probably make it easier to go from one exercise to the other instead of just like focus on one single exercise and then the next one because it, you get a bit of a fluency in it. Um, I really like the fluence element about moving instead of like the static parts. Um, so that, that's actually what I, what I really like. I've been for a few years now. Um, I met him first in London at a, a hand balancing workshop. I kind of became friends since then. I was over last summer at a gymnastic strength um, workshop. I had a blast there. And, time of my life, learned loads and then did the online coaching with Tristan after that. Um, so I always felt the need to get back and uh, this was the first workshop of the summer I saw so I jumped on it. I've been injured for a while and I broke my wrist so I was a bit apprehensive would it be okay to do everything in the workshop today but um, no, so far I've just had a blast, um, got stuck into it and, and, and managed the injury. I, I can't say enough about it, you have to try it out. Amazing. So. This is the floor work workshop. I'm just gonna give you a rough breakdown of how this stuff works and what we're gonna go through. Okay, as you can see, the guys are doing a lot of arching work there. We're looking at different ways to press, different freedoms to access. Okay, we're looking at accessing going from low to high. We're not just focusing on static movements here, although those are covered. We start each day with prepping the body, opening the body, sequencing through the body. Again, it's not just static stretches here, but we wanna really integrate everything that we're doing from point one into more advanced, more advanced movements. So as you can see, the guys are now working, going from that low to high position. This is just one basic movement we covered during the day, but it's a really fun one. Okay, so from there we do look at some isolative movements. We look at static balances. We look at some static stretch positions and how those are going to lead into the, the further practice, okay? So here you can see some arching work being done. Again, we try not to do that much static work, okay? So you can see the guys rotating in, rotating out. Lots of cueing, lots of individual feedback here because everybody's body is different, as you can see. Different people in different ranges, okay? Everyone's got their own limitations, but we work through with each individual. That's the whole focus of this workshop. It's all about individuality, okay? Right, so then you can see, again, here's some static balance work understanding where to where to place arms, what to do with legs, where to activate, where to reach for, and how to progress that, say, to one arm. Okay, then we're looking at taking that static position, and we're looking at how can we move it? What are the different key components? How does the stance change? Okay, are we going up? Are we going sideways? What do we do with our legs? How much upper body focus should there be? How much lower body focus should there be? And again, individual cueing. Here's me just having some fun as the guys are kind of chilling out and having a five minute water break. Just different little variations there, some leg together QDR stuff. Always nice on a uh, nice slippy floor. Just some basic QDR rotational push-ups before we move into our next segment there. Then, okay, um, the next section for me is all about focusing on partner work. Helping people understand stance, helping people understand eye contact and interaction. Okay, having a person in front of you is going to create that moment where you're focusing so heavily on the other person that you lose awareness of your own body. And that's where we're going to start to look at flow state and understanding that. Okay, partner work is a great way to push your practice higher. Hence why these guys are okay here, they're just going through a very basic capoeira sequence. But the emphasis, okay, is all about eye contact, interaction, and focusing not just on themselves, but on their partner. 
ear when it's playing games. Okay? It's very, very important. Just having fun. Okay? This is challenging, it's metabolically uh, destroying, okay? And it's just fun. Um, again, so it's not always just about pure training. This is a great way to eliminate sets and reps or repetition. Then we look at some extended sequences, some new movements, taking the guys through lots of spinning, lots of vestibular training, okay? Deliberately disorientating the body in order to gain higher freedoms. This is a great way to build into further movement complexity, greater memory, greater neuromuscular activation, um, amongst loads of other things, okay? Here we've got just one example of a great way to enhance your bridging, your arching, and understanding how to isolate the thoracic specifically, okay? And it comes with its own set of cues. Here's just me giving a basic back bridge demonstration and cueing myself as I go through it with a partner. Then we move into some longer sequencing. Now this is really difficult for the group when they haven't covered any of the base movement at all before the day. But here's just me just giving a basic slow demonstration for everybody, just so that to help aid that memory. And the entire group went through the sequence. Um, and everybody did a great job of it on this day. I'm really, really proud of them because this is not easy stuff. And here we've got the basic demonstration of how to understand the human being. Heel the foot as far as I can. This is the key to creating a platform on your knee for your tricep. Then compression, pushing the leg away from me. Okay, so you can see already I'm starting to open the hip to the side. And that's to start to prep myself to go to one arm. Okay, so. That's the idea of everything. Most people just go like this and go straight up. It makes it 10 times harder to balance. Okay? Then, where we start to go, we change the position of the hand, facing more forwards, facing more sideways. The reason for that is you have a lot more power through ulnar and radial deviation than you do through flexion and extension. Plus, if you fall forwards, you don't want to break the wrist. Okay? So, what we start to do there, setup is the same, okay? So we go from here, really heel the butt, heel the butt, heel the butt, heel the butt, reach, stretch away, stretch away, stretch away, and it starts to put away. Okay? You get the idea? Yeah. But it is hard as fuck. But once you've got that, oh man, it's great. So you can just go from here and go, oh. You know? You can start to kick up into the hands, down, all kinds of punch. Finally, if any of this resonated with you, if you're interested in hosting a workshop, the contact details are just coming up on the following image. Just drop me an email, contact me on Facebook, whatever. Have a great day.